gentlemen. I'm here this morning to make a brief on kidnapping incidents in Isokoto and Umenechi local government areas of Abia State concerning the issue of assassinations, banditry activities in these local government areas. The House of Representatives, through its letter dated 3rd August 2023, requested the Nigerian Army to submit a memorandum to the ad hoc committee to interface with relevant security agencies and stakeholders in respect of incident attacks of kidnappers, assassination and banditry and other criminal elements in and around these two local government areas. It is pertinent to state that incidents of kidnapping in the Southeast region witness a surge, particularly in the second quarter of this year. Recently, efforts of the Nigerian Army through 82 Division, in conjunction with other security agencies, has diminished the threat of kidnapping considerably. However, the threat of kidnapping remains a potent security threat, especially in these two local government areas particularly in the month of July this year, alone recorded some cases of kidnappings and an attack by criminals suspected to be elements of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra and Eastern Security Network in these two local governments. Suffice to mention that the Nigerian police and other security agencies are also collaborating with us, but um, due to certain inherent challenges, the bulk usually lies with the, with the Nigerian army. To interface with relevant security agencies to reduce kidnapping, assassination, and banditry around Isokoto and Omonoche local government area of Abia State. I want to say that we are out in synergy with other security agencies have been able to look around, found out that there are a very good number of proliferation of small arms and light weapons. That is almost that environment you find out that everybody has a weapon to as you may be is that and there's we full disposition of many communities to purchase either let me say bomb action, or these locally made arms. And there is lack of this cooperation by the community. When people are trying to get information from them, when they go there for man hunting, who and who is part of that criminal act, I think to volunteer information is normally difficult. And. Uh, you know, to approach them even within themselves, they're afraid of themselves. So I believe other things, we shall discuss them, I think, in this country. Thank you, sir. Focal area. They often disappear to the bordering communities of Ogo, in Enugu, Isiago, in Ebony, and uh, Okigwe, in Imo State. So it requires that we have a collaborative effort between the Nigerian army, between the paramilitary agencies across those states to ensure that we nip this crisis in the pot. So the challenges that face us in this by one state ripple across its neighbors and therefore our strategies for resolution must be collaborative and inclusive. By working in synergy, our resources and expertise and perspectives can create a stronger front against insecurity and strengthen the bonds that bind us together. The completion interplay of interest and operators within this region is also compounded by armed entities such as the Eastern Security Network, ESN, the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOP, alongside other private security organizations that are cropping up like the Royal Switch Service and other similar entities. So the intricate landscape demands a comprehensive and collaborative approach to address the multifaceted security challenges. The effort has to accommodate the concept of back-channel negotiations, which has emerged as a potential avenue for conflict resolution. 
back channel negotiations characterized by discreet and indiscreet dialogues hold the promise of fostering understanding and common ground among various stakeholders. Such negotiations, if properly managed, can help bridge gaps, reduce tensions, and build trust between different factions, including the armed organizations and security agencies, by providing a less confrontational platform for communication, and possibly be the better alternative way to explore alternative pathways towards stability, security, and cooperation. It is essential, however, that any back-channel effort are transparent, impartial, and in line with the rule of law to ensure lasting peace and security for the entire region.